I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality. Welcome to Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. I like Serena Williams. She wrecks other players. She's pretty good looking. But this whole stunt she's pulling where none of this is her fault. It's all sexism. It's ridiculous. And you saw some of her outbursts there. And what I want to do is I want to look at some of the transcript here first off of the claim she says. We'll get to the insults later. That's the most fun part. But I got to hook you in. Uh, first, let's, let's get the actual transcript up here. First, she says, I didn't get coaching. I didn't get coaching. I didn't get coaching. You need to make an announcement that I didn't get coaching. I don't cheat. I didn't get coaching. How can you say that? You owe me an apology. You owe me an apology. I've never cheated in my life. I have a daughter and I stand for what is right and I've never cheated. You owe me an apology. I'm going to skip over the I have a daughter part. That's too too enraging to address. I didn't get coaching. Motion that you made that was interpreted by the chair umpire as coaching? Well, I mean, I'm honest. I was coaching. I mean, I don't think she looked at me, so that's why she didn't even think I was. But I was like 100% of the coaches on 100% of the matches. So we have to stop this uh, hypo hypocrite thing. Oh, I see. To do my best, Tucker Carlson. Oh, I see. Looks like you did. And the excuse is, yeah, but everybody does it, so it's cool. The next thing, let's pull that up. You're attacking my character. You'll never be on the same court as mine as long as you live. So now basically she's threatening the guy's career, saying you're not going to do... Obviously, Serena's going to be in a lot of big games. And now this guy's not going to be any be in, in any games that she's participating in. You are a liar, she says. Then she says, don't talk to me, but keeps talking and says, you're a thief too. Then she complains to the other officials, and that's when she gets into the sexism. But the part about her being like, how dare you question my character? Uh, this is insulting to me. This is actually something she does all the time. 2009, she threatens a lines woman, lies about it, and then keep in mind, afterwards in a press conference, she apologizes for this. She's really, really upset. That's as angry as I've ever seen her. You can't call that there. Yeah, it's, uh... Thanks for turning in the referee. This is a bad pass on the FTX supervisor coming up. This is a very boxy, ugly spot here at the edge of the semi-fencing. On the pretty girls with it. Note again how she says, I've heard other people say worse. That's her recurring argument. And then 2011 U.S. Open, she sits here and insults the judge. Take a look. Second set. I'm not sure if you've ever seen me walking down the hall with the other way. Because you're out of control. You're out of control. And then you have to be careful. Totally out of control. You're incapable of doing anything. Totally out of control. Totally out of control. You're a hater. And you're just unattractive inside. This is such a thing. Just and I never wow. I can't believe she's turning it around and making herself a victim. What a loser. So clearly her and the US Open have some issues. Now if it was that if it was only that, her going back and forth with the referee, trying to do whatever she can to win and save herself from losing some points, I mean that's cool. Complain to refs in sports. Sometimes they suck, most of the time they're right because they're professional refs. And I get that. I was even on her side uh, during the French Open thing where they said she can't wear her cat suit, which is kind of silly. They're all wearing tiny skirts and dresses. Uh, just let it go. But the French commission guy didn't like it, and it's his tournament, so he can do what he wants. And that's the thing uh, people tried to say was different because Wimbledon let somebody do something like that once. But that's not how it works. There's four Grand Slams. I think it's U.S., French Open, Wimbledon, and Australian Open, if I'm not mistaken but it doesn't work like that work like it does in fifa where there's one governing body they all run their own thing they op operate under their own system so the french open guy did what he wanted and obviously the u.s open doesn't like to take her shit it seems and at one point i'm just laughing 
and thinking, this is like, a, is this a WWE promo she's cutting right now? She's just trying to cut a sick promo. It reminds me of the old guy Gene Snitsky. The Gene Snitsky defense, it wasn't my fault. Because, I don't know, he kicked a baby or something. I already told you, it's not my fault. But this is where she loses me. And we'll pr pull this up now. There are men out here that do this, do a lot worse, and because I'm a woman, you're going to take this away from me. That is not right. And then, later at the press conference, she says, I've seen other men call other umpires several things. I'm here fighting for women's rights, and for women's equality, and for all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff, you guys, she's fighting for. For me to say thief, and for him to take a game, it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. Serena, what are you talking about? You're playing tennis, you're not fighting for any women's rights, okay? When Neymar is in a poor place in Brazil, or Leo Messi is in a poor place in Argentina, are they fighting poverty just by being there? Hell, maybe they are, maybe because they're bringing an economy to there, but you're not, you're not playing in a favela, you're not fighting for any rights, and he made no remarks, you were the ones who said the remarks, how is him docking you points for what you said sexist, and it doesn't make any sense. But you're fighting for women's equality because you disagree with the judge. And all of her points in this argument are wrong as well. I wasn't getting coaching. Coach admits that you were. You're fighting sexism. Okay, that's obviously not true. Men have done worse and gotten away with it. No, they haven't. And how do we know? Because there's a track record for this referee, uh, courtesy Will Kane, who, by the way, is on ESPN. And I think ESPN must be listening to people online. Because Will Kane is obviously not like one of these social justice types. And I was going to do a video um, talking about how Max Kellerman on ESPN was being the ultimate soy boy. Because he was. But luckily, Stephen A. Smith chimed in. Serena Williams is the GOAT. I'm on the record saying last week that if she were not a woman, if she were a man, she'd be recognized as, a gro as the GOAT. And as a black man, I'm incredibly proud of her accomplishments and how her and her sisters have conducted themselves and the level of adversity that they've had to deal with in the world of tennis and beyond. Uh, they are role models extraordinaires. But as we talk about this specific incident in question, Serena Williams was wrong. Somebody has to say it, so I will. The reality is, is that this referee... When Serena Williams brought the issue of gender and sexism into the argument, that's when she lost. But courtesy Will Kane, you should watch the whole video of his. It's in the description. Here is the referee's record. 2018 Wibbleton gets viola gives a violation for slamming a racket. We spell it differently in Canada, by the way. 2016 gives Andy Murray a violation for saying stupid umpiring. So basically the same thing. He's insulting the referee, but it's not as bad as calling somebody a thief. You're saying that's stupid refereeing. You're not calling somebody a thief. So she did something worse. 2016 French Open asks Serena's sister to stop getting hand signals from her coach. Her sister doing the same thing with the same referee, and now she's saying that's sexism. This is why people hate PC culture, and this is why you can't keep fawning over these people. They think they're they think they're perfect. They think they're untouchable. Then she thinks she could be the one who makes the insults. She can be the one who makes the threats. But she's still the victim because she's so used to being told that she's right about everything, and she's the one who's wrong. You know the umpire. You know the circumstances. If you didn't like the umpire that much, you could have used your power that you clearly have. To request that he doesn't referee your match, you claim you're going to be able to do it in the future. Or, you do what most people do in championship situations. You overcome it. You realize the umpire you're dealing with and you play within that. Everybody does that in every sport. That's what's ridiculous about this. You play hockey, you know which referees are going to call you for holding. You play basketball, you know which ones are going to call a tap a foul. You play football, you know what's going to happen if you know the ump. Even I know some of the referees in football, and I don't even watch it that much. There's that big jacked one. His name's Ed. You know he's a hard ass. you got to understand it or work around it. That's why people are sick of this, and that's why I'm no longer on your side, Serena, and that's why you were fined $17,000.